Hi and welcome to my channel. So in my last video I showed the unboxing of my new IBM 3850 M2 server uh, and I've been working on getting it running using that as my new virtualization machine. It's a pretty skookum box, I mean for something that's seven years old. It's got four CPUs, uh, four cores in each, so 16 cores. It's got 80 gigs of RAM uh, and it's got four uh, SAS RAID uh, drive slots that I can use. The only problem is is that it uh, doesn't use three and a half inch drives, it uses two and a half inch drives. And if you've ever looked for uh, two and a half versus three and a half inch drives, you'll know that the two and a halves are a lot more expensive than the three and a halves. So I cheaped out a bit. I went and I bought 5400 RPM drives instead of uh, 7200 RPM drives. Uh, so I could save, you know, probably about 150 bucks, maybe 200 bucks on the set of drives that I bought. Um, I've installed them in the server and played with it a bit, got some things running and noticed it wasn't as fast as it should be because I was really expecting with that CPU and those performance specs that that machine would just be screaming and it, and it isn't. So I decided to do a, a quick little uh, benchmark test on um, a couple of different drives just to show you the uh, speed difference in actual use and it'll give you some idea of if you can use a 5400 RPM drive for your uh, purposes or if you need to go with a faster drive. So uh, let's get started. What I'm going to do to test this is I'll just uh, create a file, a blank file, using the program DD. So DD is a part of standard Unix and it lets you create files or copy files, binary files, back and forth. You can copy, do raw copies of drives, etc. But what I can essentially do is copy from a device. I'm going to copy from dev0, which always returns a bunch of zeros. Output file is going to be test.tt. Block size will be one megabyte. And I'm going to do, let's say, a gig file. So count is 1,000 blocks of one megabyte, 1,000, that's right. And then let's run that. And uh, so this is on my server with the two 5400 RPM Seagate Barracuda drives, and I got 583 megs a second, according to this. So this is my fastest server. It's equipped with a RAID 0 config with four drives. They're 73 gig drives uh, with 15K RPM, so they're quite fast. Um, and I'll just run that same command on this server and we'll see what happens. Put file equals dev zero. Output file equals test tt. Block size equals one meg. Count equals 1000. There we go. And 388 megs a second is what I got. So it's saying it's slower than my server with two 5400 RPM, uh, two and a half inch drives, Seagate Barracuda drives. Okay, so let's try on my third server, which is uh, my old virtualization server. This has two drives on it. One drive is a 7200 RPM drive, and the other drive is a 5400 RPM drive. So uh, let's try first that same command on the 7200 RPM, three and a half inch drive. This is a there's no RAID configuration on this at all. It's just a single drive. Uh, test, so dd input file equals dev zero. Output file equals test tt. Count equals 1000. Block size equals one meg. Okay, so we're running this on the 7200 RPM drive. And we got 183 megs per second. The numbers are kind of lining up. You can see 183 megs on this 72 single 72 RPM, uh, 583 on the two 5400 RPMs, and where is that last one there? 388 on the array of four RAID drives. So that's a basic test. Now I'm going to test the slow drive on my uh, virtualization server here. So I'll go dd input file equals dev zero. Output file equals share test tt. Now that's mounted on a different drive. And then let's run that. So now I got 1.2 gigs a second on that drive, which actually should have been the slowest drive of the lot. Okay. 
So the first question is, is why do these results not really make that much sense? I mean, um, the uh, first, the fastest server is only 388 megs per second, and it should be a lot faster than the 25400 drives, which are at 583 megs a second. Um, the problem is, is there's caching hardware, uh, there's cache in the drives, there's cache in the RAID controllers, all sorts of things going on that basically it's reporting that it's done before it, before it actually is. So a better approach is to create a really big file so that it will fill up the caches in the uh, controller and the operating system and then copy it from uh, one location to another. So I'm going to do that. DD input file dev zero output file equals test TT block size equals one meg count equals I'm going to do 50 gigs so that's 5 gigs, 50 gigs right there. And then I will do the same in the other servers. Well, I'll let those run and we'll see what uh, the results are. Okay, so it looks like there's some results in. My Unix 1 server has written 52 gigs out in 248 seconds, which is uh, equates to 211 megs a second. Viking, which is my fastest machine, which has four 70, 73 gig drives in uh, RAID 0, uh, wrote out at 362 megs a second. And the last one, which is Unix 2, wrote out at 192 megs a second. So really, if we look at the results, be one. This is the 7200 RPM Unix one, 211. Actually, the slowest is the two 5400 RPMs in RAID zero. So that's kind of uh, uh, surprising. We've got twice the drive there. They're you know six megabit per second drives, and the performance is actually lower than the uh, single 7200 RPM drive on the other computer. Um, if I look at the CPU on this one there is a lot uh, less CPUs. There's, there's four cores uh, running at three gigahertz E5450s, and the uh, slowest machine, which had the two 5400 drives, proc CPU info, has 16 cores uh, running at 2.9 gigahertz. Quite a bit faster machine, Processing wise, it's it's got a lot more guts to it. Uh, pretty much everything on the machine's better, but you know those drives are obviously the bottleneck there. So I'm going to do one more test. I'm going to copy those 50 gig files that I had, and we'll see what the uh, uh, time to copy is. So the next test that I'll do is creating that same test file, 50 gig file, on the slow share drive which is, uh, it's directly connected to the server, it's just a 5400 RPM, three and a half inch drive. And we'll let that run for a bit. When I wrote the 50 gig file to the 5400 RPM drive on UX1, uh, the uh, speed was 133 megs a second, which is particularly slow. Uh, so that is the uh, slowest of the bunch that I have. And that makes sense because uh, this computer, it's, you know, one drive, 5400 RPM, uh, you know, no RAID or anything like that. So the next test I'll do is the copy test. We'll use the time command in order to time the operation. Test TT to test TT2. And let that run. This is on the fast machine with four uh, 73 gig drives. This is the two 5400 RPM drives running RAID 0, and I'll do the exact same thing. So CP test TT test TT2. Let's make sure we time that. Hit enter. And we'll let that run, and I'll run that on the other server as well. We'll see what happens. So on the unit with four 73 gig uh, RAID 0 drives, the time to copy 50 gigs was 5 minutes and 2 seconds. Now the time for the two 5400 RPM drives at RAID 0, and the uh, result is 9 minutes and 4 seconds, and that works out to be 91 megs a second uh, between the read and the write. Now for comparison, the four 73 gig drives were running at uh, 165 megs a second. So on the single 7200 RPM drive, 
it worked out to 9 minutes and 51 seconds, which is about 84 megs a second. If we compare that to the two 5400 RPM drives, it's you know pretty much the same speed. It's 91 megs a second for the two 54s and 84 for one 72. So there's quite a bit of difference there. So the final results are the 5400 RPM single drive. That took 10 minutes and 12 seconds, which is the slowest of the group. Let's look at the uh, results of this test and uh, compare. With the Create test, 5400 RPM drive, a single drive, was 133 megs a second. The single 7200 RPM drive was 211 megs, almost double, not double, 60% faster. The two 5400 drives in RAID 0 were 192, so it was actually slower than a single 7200 RPM drive. And then the 15K drives with the uh, four units at RAID 0 were obviously the fastest at 360 megs a second. For copy, 5400 RPM was a pretty pathetic 81 megs a second. The 7200 RPM was 84 megs a second, so not really that much faster. With the two 5400 RPM drives, we didn't get much of a gain at all. I mean, uh, there's, uh, you know, 12% or something gain between uh, the 81 meg and the 91 megabytes per second we got off the two 5400s. So that's pretty pathetic. And then the four 15K drives, we got 165 megs, which actually is maybe a bit slower than uh, what I would like to, but uh, at the same time, no, it looks like the ratio is the same between them. It's about half for each of these, or roughly half. So I guess that's good enough performance. But what this shows is that essentially, you know, 5400 RPM drives are slow. They're really slow compared to a 7200 RPM drive. And, you know, you put two of them in a RAID 0 configuration and you're expecting to get double the performance. You're not going to get double the performance. You're going to get a slight gain with a read write. And, um, you know, you get a bigger gain with just a, a, a single a create. And I'm going to assume that. Uh, a big read of a you know 50 gig file probably have the same characteristics. Now my testing technique wasn't perfect but this does give a good representative sample of how these drives perform and it really shows what I was seeing in my VMs which was my two 5400 RPM drives that I was expecting to be quite a bit faster than uh, you know the old uh, VM server running these drives turns out it's not really any faster at all. Uh, so those drives are going to go back to uh, who I ordered them from and I'm going to spend a little bit more money and buy some 7200 RPM drives to uh, replace them. Thanks very much for watching this video and I hope you tune in again.